A reverse lookup zone in Windows DNS allows us to resolve IP addresses to names rather than just names to IP addresses like a forward lookup zone would show. Now we're looking at a forward lookup in DNS on a Windows 2022 server. I'm going to go over to where it says reverse lookup zones and I'm going to right click and choose to create a new zone. And I'll click next as the wizard appears. Now I have several options. Primary zone means that it's going to be a writable copy so I can make changes to this zone. And it has to be a primary zone the first time you create it. After that you can create secondary or step zones which are read-only copies. Now if I choose to leave the box checked for store the zone in Active Directory, it will replicate to any other domain controllers the same information. I'm going to leave that checked because I'm going to be adding more domain controllers later and they'll have DNS. I'm going to choose the default that you see here, but you can certainly change that if you would like to only show this zone data being replicated to specific types of DNS servers. In most cases, the default is fine. Now you have the option for the IPv4 or IPv6. I'm using only IPv4 in this zone, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. But if you're using an IPv6, you can go ahead and choose that option. Now I need to choose the network ID. So I got to go back to my command prompt and I'm going to clear the screen and type ipconfig. What ipconfig does is it tells me what my network portion of my IP address is and what my host portion is. So the network portion you can see with the 2553 times means that it's masking out 192.168.21 as my network. So that's what I'm going to be entering in to my reverse zone. The last octet that you see here is just the individual IP of my computer. So I'm going to minimize and go ahead and put in 192.168.21 and click Next. And I'm going to allow those secure dynamic updates. So that allows any computer that's joined to the domain to automatically and dynamically register their IP address. Click Next and click Finish. And there is my zone. And once again, whenever we create a zone, it's going to automatically create a couple of records. One is going to be the start of authority, meaning it's the writable copy of this zone. And the other is the name server, meaning that this is the name server itself, the DNS server for this particular zone. So if anyone's doing what's called an NS lookup or name server lookup for a particular domain, it will find this server. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to clear the screen again. My zone is called mydomain.int. So I'm going to type in nslookup mydomain.int. And here you can see it found the address of 21.210, which is this particular server. It did not find the IP address that you see here because this is representing IP version 6 and we're not using that at this time. That is how we create a reverse lookup zone in Windows Server 2022.